Good afternoon and welcome to Galaxy News on the R. I am Rita Omodia. News is R. The Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 5, Rashid Olatunde, has charged officers and men of the Bayelsa Police Command to demonstrate professionalism in carrying out their duties. He gave the charge during his maiden visit to the command, where he was received by the new commissioner, Mr. Don Awuna. Addressing officers and men after inspecting a guard in his honor, the police AIG spoke on the need for officers to have integrity and display professionalism. But in addition, it also has to do with the support of the state government and most significantly, the people of the state. In order to tackle this violent crime, we have, we have put in place what we call Operation Safer by Elsa. On this part, the Bayelsa Police Commissioner said the state remains the lowest in crime as the government supports its yielding results. There's no better job than that for this job. You are doing a very good job. You are, you, you are very lucky to have secured that job. The job is the best. Now, former president of the Ijo Youth Council IYC Worldwide, Dr. Chris Ekio, reportedly escaped death by the whiskers as suspected Fulani headsman released volume of gun shot on his vehicle along the East-West Expressway near Ugeli community in Delta State. Briefing newsmen and the present leadership of the IYC at his country home in Patani, where he took them round the car, Dr. Ekio narrated his ordeal. Actually, on the other side of the road, there was one. That's why it was a robbery. I said, fine. Whether they were robbers or headsmen, there was an attack on my car, and the two I identified could pass. Clearly, by the addressing and physiognomy as meaning from the bush headsmen. Now, I have also seen robbers on the express road before. I've seen robbers attack on the express road before. In fact, we have despaired repair robbers on the Irene houses, on the protected houses as IYC president. On the insinuations that they may be armed robbers, he stressed that their parents brought them out as headsmen as the current president of the IYC condemned the attack. I am convinced that these people should be headsmen or their militias. Now, the truth is that I'm not saying the, the Katsurera are headsmen and thieves. I'm saying that now there are militias amongst them who are now doing their job and threatening our country. So we are very, very glad. saddened. We are, we are not happy with the situation. And uh, as far as we are concerned, this is an attack on the Ijo nation. Because if you can attack a former president of the Georgia Council, it means that this is an handshake that is gradually going beyond the elbow. On our next story, the National Conscience Party, NCP, has condemned the recall of the suspended Executive Secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS, Professor Usman Yusuf, by President Muammar de Buhari. The National Vice Chairman of the party in the Southwest, Wahid Lawal, who stated this in an interview in Oshubu, called on the President to retrace his steps and allow the EFCC and ICPC to conclude the investigation's allegation of diversion of 919 million naira leveled against Yusuf. Recalling a corrupt person shows that the president himself is a corrupt person. We should call a spade a spade. The president should show Nigeria that is serious about the campaign against corruption. Okay. It is not necessary saying in from any angle. It should allow the agency saddled with responsibility of probing to concluding their investigation. Still on the news, the Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Nogum State, Muiwa Oladipo, hinted that tourism is not generating enough revenue in Nigeria, claiming that there is a need for Nigerians to venture into the business and give it a boost as it is done in other countries of the world. He made this known while addressing tourism stakeholders during the launch of Virtual Tourism and Tourism Entrepreneur Development Academy, TEDA, in Abelkuta. On his part, promoter of the project, Femi Lawson, said part of his vision is to open the eyes of many Nigerians, especially the youths and investors, to hidden potentials in tourism business and create employment opportunities for thousands of people. Of course, we, we, we're thinking 
we even concluded on concessioning some of these areas because it is what Sky was, was, was even saying, and that is um, public public PPP, public private partnership. That's the only way we can move forward in Nigeria. How do you drive sales? How do you drive attention to the tourist industry? And we started to think, what is the in thing that is going on in the world right now? Because technology drives everything in the world. And we thought of virtual tourism. And that's the news this hour to join us again at half past six for a more comprehensive bulletin. I am Rita Omodia. Many thanks for staying tuned.